for sending shockwaves through the VCU fan base and the Richmond community as a whole. Many folks telling us that they expected Coach Rhodes to stick around for the long haul. Mm, and he's certainly hoping and wishing that he did. But Riley Wind has been speaking with students and fans today as that news broke. She joins us live now with that part of our team coverage. A bittersweet news, but we wish him well, Riley. Yeah, Makia, Simone, fans tell me they are hurt by this news, but because especially because they expected Coach Rhodes to stick around for the long haul as a part of the VCU family, but they do say that they are no stranger to this disappointment as VCU has long served as a stepping stone for plenty of head coaches. I was surprised. It's, it's kind of disappointing to see him leave. No hard feelings, but how are you going to leave something that's already winning? VCU students and fans feeling the sting as Coach Rhodes announces his departure after many believed he would stay for years to come. I'm disappointed. I really thought Rhodes was telling us at least that his truth when he said that he loved VCU and wanted to be here for life. But I know things change and opportunities arise. Many fans taking to social media to voice their disappointment, especially after the excitement of an A-10 championship and a March Madness appearance. Superfan Pav, who has attended hundreds of games, says VCU oftentimes gets shortchanged for being a mid-major program. But we are also built like any high major program this side of Duke and Kentucky. We have the same, if not better, resources than Penn State, than Alabama, than Oklahoma. Pav says Rhodes was such a good fit for the program, making it harder to see him go. I think the quintessential picture of Coach Rhodes goes back to like 2012. He's missing these two teeth because um, he's just been scrapping with the players and dove for a loose ball and got his teeth knocked out. I mean, you love a coach at VCU who's going to do that. Even through the whiplash of several coaching changes, many fans are praising Rhodes for his dedication the last six years. We wish him the best, but we, we're grateful for what he gave us. Rhodes has given us six good years through the hardest six years a lot of us have ever experienced. I want to re reassure VCU fans that VCU is awesome. VCU is going to be better than fine. We will be better because that's what VCU does. And as the fan base looks ahead to next season, there is a chance that VCU could play Penn State in the ESPN Invitational, facing their former coach on the hardwood. For now, live and on your side at 6 o'clock tonight, Riley Wyant, NBC 12 News. All right, Riley, thank you.